Welcome to my channel. If you like my videos, then kindly subscribe, like, and watch. Thank you. Dear students, we are going to start the second chapter that is stress and strain axial loading. Uh, today we will solve problem 2.1 and 2.2 in this lecture. So let's start with the problem. The statement of problem is that an 80 meter long wire of 5 millimeter diameter is made up of steel with E is Modulus of elasticity is 200 gigapascal and ultimate tensile strength of 400 megapascal. If factor of safety is 3.2 is desired, first determine the largest allowable tension in the wire and the second part is corresponding elongation of the wire. So let's start with given data. So we have been given that given data is that uh, 80 millimeter long wire so length is 80 sorry 80 meter long wire of dia 5 millimeter so diameter is given also that is 5 millimeter the wire is made up of steel with modulus of elasticity elasticity e that is also given the modulus of elasticity e is 200 giga pascal and ultimate tensile strength of 400 megapascal so sigma ultimate that is equal to 400 megapascal if the factor of safety factor of safety is also given factor i will write, write it in short factor of safety is 3.2 so we have to find number first a part the largest allowable tension in the wire which is tension is represented p or f you can use any uh, alphabet so largest or allowable sorry allowable tension you have to find allowable allowable tension in the wire and the part b is the corresponding elongation that is change in length so corresponding elongation corresponding elongation so we have to find this so let's start with its solution okay as we know that uh, we have been given as ultimate tensile strength that is equal to 400 megapascal so as you know that this ultimate tensile strength that is equal to uh, ultimate tensile load p ultimate over the area clear also we can uh, we do not know uh, p ultimate so we will find p ultimate first and area also so let's start with area a as area is equal to pi by 4 d square we have the value of d that is pi by 4 that is given as let me check above that is 5 mm so 5 square now if you calculate this that will give you the value of 19.63 into 10 raised to power minus 6 square meter so area is 19.63 into 10 raised to power minus 6 square meter we have the value of a now now you can easily calculate the value of p ultimate so from this formula from this formula we can say that p ultimate is equal to sigma ultimate into area which is uh, that is 400 into 10 raised to power 6 pascal multiply by the area that is 19.63 into 10 raised to power minus 6 this p ultimates come out to be 7854 newton now you have find the ultimate that is the maximum uh, force that wire can withheld but it is given that given that factor of safety factor of safety that is given as 3.2 now what is factor of safety this factor of safety is actually 
द अल्टीमेट स्ट्रेस ओवर अलाउेबल स्ट्रेस सो अगेन इफ यू पुट द वैल्यू ऑफ अल्टीमेट स्ट्रेस दैट इज पी अल्टीमेट ओवर एरिया डिवाइड बाय अलाउेबल स्ट्रेस दैट इज पी अलाउेबल ओवर स्ट्रेस सो इट विल कैंसल एंड वी हैव फैक्टर ऑफ सेफ्टी दैट इज P ultimate over ultimate over P allowable. Now uh, we have to find the P allowable because the question first part is that you have to find P allowable. That can uh, uh, that is the force allowable for the wire under the condition that factor of it is safe three point two times. okay so 3.2 is the factor of safety p ultimate is 7854 and divide by this is p allowable now p allowable is equal to 7854 divide by 3.2 and from this we get p allowable is equal to 25 2454 newton so this is the first answer of part 1 that this p allowable is 25 2454 that is uh, allowable stress that can withstand the wire under the condition that uh, factor of safety is 3.2 means you have reduced the allowable force to uh, to, to to the uh, you have divided the allowable force 3 over 2 times means it is 3 over 3.2 times safer now if you apply this force so this was the first part now coming toward second part second part we what was the second part change corresponding change of length so if you have studied the change in length we know that when a uh, sub object is applied to tensile strain uh, tensile stress the change in length that is given by formula pl over ae now we have p that is allowable because this force is allowable we have length we have area and we have modulus of elasticity elasticity so you will put the values the p is 2454 you have the value of length that is 80 meter and you have the value of area that is 19.63 into 10 rest power minus 6 and you have the value of e which is 200 giga pascal so that is 200 into 10 rest power 9 so if you calculate that it will give you 50 into 10 rest power minus 3 meter means the change in length is equal to 50 mm clear so this was all about problem 1 that is the answer of part 2 i hope you you have uh, been cleared about this let's start with problem 2.2 now here it is given that uh, a steel control rod is 5.5 foot long and must not stretch more than 0.04 inch when a two kip tensile load is applied to it knowing that modulus of elasticity elasticity is 29 to 10 power 6 psi determine the smallest diameter rod that should be used and the second part is corresponding normal stress caused by the load so let's start with given data in problem it is given that a steel rod is 5.5 foot long so length is 5.5 foot clear we have also given that it must not stretch more than 0.04 inch so elongation should not exceed means it is equal to 0.04 inch clear when a ten, two two kips tensile load is applied to it so load p tensile clear pt that is 2 kips or 2000 pound 
knowing that e is e is given modulus of elasticity which is 29 train raised to power 6 psi you have to find now you have to find the first part is that determine the smallest diameter rod that should be used so d smallest you can see that d smallest you have point to d smallest and the second part is corresponding normal stress caused by the load so you have to find stress corresponding normal stress so let's start with its solution uh, first we have given this change uh, sorry elongation so by using this formula elongation that is equal to p l over a e we have p we have l we have e and we have elongation so you will get area after getting area you will then calculate d so let's start so elongation given is 0 0.04 inch the uh, 4 4 inch and we have p value that is 200 pound 2000 pound we have length that is 5.5 foot but you have to convert it into inch so we will multiply it with 12 we do not have area and we are going to find it and the elasticity modulus of elasticity is 29 into 10 raised to power 6 psi so definitely you will get the if you bring this area over here and 0 0.04 to this so you will get area is equal to 0 0.11379 inch square so this is the value of area now you know that area as area is equal to 1 over 4 pi d square clear so 0 0.1137 is equal to 1 over 4 multiply by 3.14 into d square clear and this d square will be equal to 4 multiply by 0 0.1137 divide by 3.14 and when you calculate this and this d will be equal to under the root 4 multiply by 0 0.1137 divide by 3.14 clear so when you calculate this will give you d as 0 0.38 inch so this was your first part you have find the smallest diameter that can withstand the elongation of 0 0.04 inch so that was your first part now we, we will move towards second part part b in which we have asked corresponding stress clear so as we know that stress is equal to force or load tensile load over area we have area and we have also tensile load that was given as 2000 lb and we have area that is 0 0.1137 square inch so when you calculate this you are corresponding you are corresponding load as uh, corresponding stress comes out to be 717580 psi or you can say stress is equal to 17.58 KSI so this was the corresponding stress and the answer of part B I hope you have enjoyed the video if you like kindly subscribe share and like thank you